So everybody, welcome back to uh, the office uh, in the Houston home area. I will be going back to uh, El Paso in a couple of weeks to the uh, hotbed of activity for the coronavirus. But today there's a question. It was pretty good. It's all about uh, taxes. So uh, it's actually a way that uh, could potentially save some money, but uh, we'll see. So anyway, this is from Ryan and uh, he says, hey, and I'm just going to paraphrase this question. He says, hey, can I gift somebody, send a gift, of 15,000 in, in crypto, whatever that is, to somebody else, and then they can gift uh, their fit, their cryptocurrency back to me as like in 15K. So it'd just be like a swap, and then neither of us would have to pay taxes. That's pretty much what he's saying. I just wanna gift somebody 15K, they're gonna gift me 15K, and we don't have to pay taxes at all. Is that how it works? And the second question is, he's talking about since I'm following the uh, DCA approach, how does this work for long-term and short-term capital gains? The example was if I bought Bitcoin in May 2020 and then I sell uh, Bitcoin in May 2021, uh, how does it all work? If I buy half of Bitcoin in May, then June, then July, would I have to like stagger them uh, as I sell them because long-term capital gains are better than short-term? And I'll answer the second one first. Uh, yes. That's pretty much it. So uh, long-term and short-term, it's just that long-term capital gains is anything that you you make after a year of holding that um, whatever asset that you have. That could be that could be a land, it could be a stock, it could be what it could be cryptocurrency. It has to be over a year. So if you bought half a Bitcoin in May, you got to wait in May 2020. You have to wait a full year, like May 2nd, May 15th, somewhere around there, uh, to actually sell it to not get put in that short-term capital gains territory. That's all you gotta do, right? And I think even now with Gemini, every time that you go to sell something, either it's implemented now or it's gonna be implemented soon, they tell you the tax ramifications of what it is. So like you don't have to even think about it. It's like it's right there. So Gemini is doing a pretty good job. The second one is about the uh, gifts because it's like, well, I'm just gonna give 15,000 to somebody and they give me 15,000, I don't want to pay any taxes. And I was like, no, that's not how it works. I actually even uh, reached out to uh, my man, Sheehan, uh, Chandra Sikar. If you don't know him, he is a uh, crypto specific uh, CPA. And I just asked him, is that, can we do that? And he says, no, you can't. He goes, you can gift someone uh, crypto of 15,000. The recipient doesn't pay taxes nor reports it anywhere. The sender has to file a form 709 with the IRS only if the amount exceeds 15,000. So, so here's the rub. Um, if you're gonna send somebody as a gift 15,000 in Bitcoin, if he, and he sends you or she sends you 15,000, you've already purchased that and you've already gotten taxed on the money that you did it with. So however you paid for that Bitcoin, right? If you, you have a nine to five job, right? You've got your salary, you've got your check, and uh, you just say, okay, I'm gonna take this much money that I have and I'll put it into Bitcoin. Well, you've already gotten tax on that. So uh, there's really nothing you can do about that. And then, well, some people say, well, what if I just do like, I put it into Ethereum first, then I do an XRP, then I do a Bitcoin, do all these, these transfers, and then I put it into Bitcoin uh, and then I send it away. I'm like, well, every single transaction you just did, you got taxed for it, right? And the next question was, well, what if I go to just immediately sell it? Well, you can immediately sell it, but it's the same thing, right? And if you immediately sell it, you don't really pay any taxes, but you've already gotten taxed on, on the front end. And then if you wait, uh, let's say it's at 15K, you bought 15K worth of Bitcoin back in May. Let's say it was worth 10,000. Now it's worth 20,000 and you go to sell it, you're like, ah, I got this, this nice gift. It still doesn't matter because you're gonna get taxed on the uh, gains from 10K to 20K, even if you wait a year or more and you're in the long-term capital gain. So uh, that is the big thing and that's really what it comes down to. Now, as far as like tax deductions, again, uh, if you are looking for a way to minimize your taxes, did a, did a video, talked about the different uh, legal ways you can minimize taxes uh, using a Roth traditional or SEP IRA and I'll link that at the very end, looks like this. And that is it for Q of the Day. So it's a, it sounds like a good idea uh, at first, but uh, again, there's all these different laws and it's very hard to get away from, from taxes. Although I did hear one thing before I sign off. Some people have said, well, I'm not gonna pay any taxes because all I'm gonna do is just take a loan out and I'm going to take the money that I get from these loans, small loans, and uh, I'm just going to let everything ride. Well, that works out pretty well right now because everything is going up, right? But what goes up, will come down. So if you keep doing that uh, for time over time, you're gonna have to eventually pay the piper because it's gonna go up 
and then it's going to start to come down again and maybe down below what it is right now. So if you take that loan, you have to pay it back. And uh, I guess you could do it. It's just going to be a little bit of uh, uh, robbing Peter to pay Paul, I guess. All right. So that's it for today. I'll let me know in the comments section and uh, let's jump back. So I hope that answered your question about all those things. Thanks to Xi'an for again answering my questions. I really appreciate it. I got to get him on the show. Uh, but before we take off, I just want to give a quick shout out to everybody who has signed up for Digital Asset News, the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. And let's just do some random shout outs. So Juno No, Dubnet, Keith Noir, Eric Larson, DJ Vinberg in, in Trust. Nice. Eric Mitko, Steve Ehrlich. Um, yeah, Steve from Voyager. Uh, Juan Pablo Esperanza, Jimmy Watson, Dad Beam, that's pretty funny, Jess Zadra, and Patrick Mai and Frank Weinhammer. So everybody, thanks for uh, for signing up. Really appreciate it. If you like these types of videos, there's going to be two more going to pop up on your left and right. Not really sure exactly because YouTube does their magic. And uh, that is it. So uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Good luck on this bull run. Uh, we're going to see some pullbacks, just remember. And I'll see you on the next one.